My last poem, the grand finale poem. Poem a day for August 2K20. And this poem, it is Together by Carrie Williams Clifford. Oh, come, love, let us take a walk down the way of life together. Storms may come, but what care we? I'll be fair or foul the weather. When the sky overhead is blue, balmy scented winds will after us adown the valley below, haunting echoes of our laughter. When life storms upon us beat, crushing us with fury, after all is done, there will ringing, there will ringing come mocking echoes of our laughter. So we'll walk the way of life, you and I, love, both together, storm or sunshine, happy we. If be foul or fair the weather. So yeah, that is my favorite poem for this month. And that's going to be how I wrap up this thing that I've been doing where every month for the past few months, I pick one of the poems that I received every month. I'm not explaining this very well and I'm just confusing myself. But basically, I'm subscribed. Not anymore and I'll explain. But I have this email subscription where I signed up for a poem every day, where I'm sent a random poem every single day, and that really adds up. And so I'm going to briefly explain why I decided to unsubscribe, actually as of today, just a few hours ago, August 31st. So basically I was becoming overwhelmed by the number of emails I got from them from this website, Poem A Day. I think it's like poems.org, I don't even know, I don't pay attention. So I decided to unsubscribe, and I felt kind of sort of bad about my goal where I wanted to read one poem a day. It didn't really work out, and I was just starting to feel overwhelmed and behind. My goal was to read a poem a day, just like how basically the site promotes, where you are involved in poetry you write more, you read more, you learn more, you learn from other poets, you grow your own poetry, and that's all great and fine and peachy and dandy, but I just found it overwhelming and time-consuming, so I'm behind days and days, even weeks and probably months worth of poems just behind, where I haven't really been able to find the time or the energy or, I guess, the wanting to catch up. And so there's that. But back to the poem. Um, I love those words. Together, love, way of life. And when I read the poem aloud, and by the way, I didn't really stutter, so I'm pretty proud of myself. It is usually really bad this time of year. <laughs> but it sounds so weird. My stutter can like have a bad day or a bad time of year, I guess. But no, it seriously does. But nowadays, I don't know why, I just haven't really felt that or had that as a problem. So yeah. Um, anyway, when I was reading this, I noticed that Way of Life, it's capital Way of Life. Um, so Way is capital, Life is capital, and in between um, Way of Life, they have a dash. So Way of Life together. I really like how that looks and how that reads. Um, the name of the poem together is just profound and bold, and I think it really sums up the poem very well, together. Togetherness. Uh, I remember in the first grade, and I have to make this very good because this is my grand finale, my very last poem a day, you know. So that's why I'm rambling on and on. But anyway, I remember in the first grade we were learning some words and some bigger words, um, like vacation and the word together, and together there was this rhyme, this song about how it's to get her, um, and then there's just like all these little cute songs and rhymes that you can do trying to spell and learn how to read and say certain words, so to get her, I thought of that, and you can insert your I don't know, analysis on my saying that. I'm not going to go into that and what that means to me because honestly, I don't really know what that means to me. It just stuck out to me to get her and the symbolism that you can find in that if you read more into it. Um, 
I just like this poem. It really flows. It's basically talking about how in life you get the storms and you get the blue sky and you get things in between and you get the beauty and the hard and you get the sun and the sun for me is very hard because I'm bipolar and I have sad and this time of year is just not my time. It's not my time of year. Um, I do feel an inner switch about this time every year, the spring, the summer, and I just feel off. I feel different. I don't really feel myself. I don't feel me anymore. But this year has been different because I think I've done certain things. I've done different things. I've been trying to change myself a little bit in a healthy way. Um, but anyway, the sun in this poem is seen as a very good thing. And you're happy. They're happy, these people. They're saying us, they're saying we, they're saying together. They're talking about love, and love is with a capital L. So love could be a love of life. Love could be your significant other. Love could be, even be yourself. Love could be the very essence, the very form of life itself. And I like it. I like how it says, if be fair or foul. So if life is fair or foul, you're still going to have the sunshine. And this is a poem that I honestly and truly just stumbled across today. <laughs> and it's kind of, as I said, I'm behind on reading these poems and absorbing them and analyzing them and critiquing them, trying to learn more through them. But anyway, I'm glad that I read this poem today because... I have a lot going on. My job just ended. I'll go back next April. That's my plan. But right now it's time for me to be a student. I'm preparing for that in a few weeks. And my life is just starting to slow and calm. And it's very soothing right now. It's gone quiet. So I get to work on my personal goals, my small things on the side, like hobbies and interests and <clears throat> things of that nature. And, um... Yeah, it's just a poem that I had to hear because in the quiet, in the loud, in the busy, in the slow, just in life, every little thing you have going, um, that's the thing. You get a little bit of everything and you always have the sun though. That's what I'm starting to realize. <clears throat> um, the sun is always there and sometimes I ignore it. I don't want to see it because... The sun, symbolically, is really hard for me. Like, this time of year, it's just, it's not me. And sometimes it feels like it doesn't help. But, symbolically, there can be a different sun where there is joy in everything. There is joy in the world. There is joy in my life. And I just have to see it and want it and crave it and provide it. Like, I find it, I capture it, I live it, I breathe it, and then I offer it to others. So I provide, provide others with that same joy that I have been able to discover and enjoy myself. So I want to be together with other people, with humanity, with myself. I want to be one with myself and I want to love life and I want to have togetherness with myself and with others. And I want to, what was that word that they use? Let me check my notes. Um, way of life together. I want to live my life together with me, myself, and I. And with strangers and family and friends and acquaintances and just the human race, just be happy and be content and share my joy with other people the joy that I've found, and the joy that I give off. And that's what I want to be. That's who I want to be. And I've been talking for too long, so I should probably get going. But, yeah, so this is me signing out. This is the conclusion of the poems. I've done this for, like, the past six months. It started in March, and now it's ending here the last day of August of 2K20. And I was just thinking, I need this break, I need to work on my inbox, and just unsubscribe to a bunch of things. Not saying that poetry is bad by any means. It's amazing, and I love to write, and I always will, and poetry is a lot of fun for me. 
to read to write everything, but I just need another dose of quiet in another area of my life, and that's my inbox. And so I'm going to end this goal, this challenge to myself where I read a poem a day. And challenges don't always work. Challenges can be challenges. And this small goal, it worked out at first, a poem a day, but it didn't end very well. And now I've learned that writing and reading, two hobbies and close interests of mine, they are more for fun and they're on the side. And I'm learning that I can't live and breathe them 24-7. I prefer to write than read. And I re I've learn that through this process especially. I like to work on my own work instead of read other people's work, like no offense to them. And I need to read as much as I write probably, but I don't know. I think this is a sign just telling me that I need to work on my story ideas and the first work that I want to publish within the next year. And I just need to not check my inbox constantly feeling like I'm gonna miss out. Or like I have to do this or read this or click that open. So, yeah. Um, I didn't mean to say all that. I didn't know I was going to say all that. But I did. So, anyway. Just to end this little blurb and this little series of mine, Poem A Day. Um, poetry is amazing and beautiful. And your life can be a poem and you get to write it. It can be however long or short you want it to be. It can be detailed. It can be broad. It can be very specific. It can be beautiful with hard parts and ugly parts all combined into one lump of beauty. <laughs> um, does that make sense? This doesn't sound like poetry. Okay. Anyway. Thank you and me signing out. Yeah.